What's going on everybody? Product Probes back at you with another knife review and today we're looking at the Jabe's Cutlery Stonewash Knife. This thing is pretty heavy, got a nice little pocket clip on it, but let's dive into it and let's see what this thing's got. All right guys, not much to this knife, but I do like the look of it. It's an all stone wash right here. Let me show y'all. As you can see, it's got a good look to it. I like the pattern that they have in there. Now it is all stainless steel. You know, a lot of times you have an aluminum handle or something like that, but this one is all stainless steel. Now, that's definitely adding to the weight of it. So, you know, it's going to be a super heavy pocket knife, but it gives it that, you know, medieval type feel to it. So, if you look right here, you do have your assisted trigger, and you do have a quick, you know, little thumb release right here. Let's try it. Wow. That actually threw that blade up there pretty good. So, let's try that again. Yeah, that time is even better. So, you can actually use that quick release right here. Now, as you can see, they have incorporated some jimpings on top of this thumb ramp right here. So, on top of the blade, which is really cool. Right here, you would, I guess you would still just call this your standard drop point right there. You got your rolled out bevel on it. And then right here, you got your liner lock which, you know, for these heavier knives, that was the trigger on it, by the way, the, you would want almost a frame lock for this large blade. I feel like that liner lock might not hold up, you know, as good, but the blade on it seems to be super sharp. But again, guys, that stonewash look makes it look really cool right here. Simple close on it. The pocket clip is super beefy. But I don't like how it's not all the way up, as you can see. So you might have a little bit sticking out of your pocket, but that's going to be a large pocket knife in your pocket. Ah, look at this. It kind of looks like, oh my gosh. This thing almost, like if I'd have probably thrown it up once or twice more, that screw would have came out. Nah, it's not as easy. I was wondering, when I flipped that thing open the first time, eh, you can still get it. Yeah, once you get it down, it's still good. Now I'm scared this thing's just loosening up on me. Hmm. <laughs> Be careful, make sure that that is tightened. Because you definitely don't want this blade coming out on you. But let's at least go see how sharp this knife really is. All right. Let's check out the sharpness on this knife. So right here, right off the bat, we'll do a straight down cut on it. So right here with the start, you know the weight pushes that knife and the, or that blade rather on down rather nice, but that was actually pretty surprising for the cost of this knife. Let's try it at an angle. So again, right here at the angle, seems to catch, but you can actually work your knife because you have so much blade right here and get a lot finer cuts on it. Now, let's check out the tip on it. Minimal push right here, which is really good. Your cut downs, your slices, minimal tearing right here on a few of these. But guys, for this to be right out of the box, the blade is not too bad. You know, not too bad for a larger blade. Of course, you're going to be able to get, you know, the run on it because that blade, but on the straight down, you know, like a razor, it's still, for Jabe's Cutlery, these are not bad at all, right out of the box, for a cheaper knife. Got a preference of that in there. But, you know, overall, it's a nice looking knife. Now, this isn't a lanyard hole back here. Now, you can use it as a tool, but your blade right here, but they did make it small enough to where it is not a safety hazard, you know, so your finger's not gonna get in there and really get cut. I know on that Jabe's Cutlery one, that we did with the larger one. You know, it was cutting down and you could really cut yourself on it. This one seems to be okay. That's what it looks like. Let's open this thing up real quick. That's what it looks like fully open. I need to switch over to that other camera, but 
That's it guys, just a quick review on it. But since that pocket clip is so beefy, let's go see what this thing looks like in the pocket. Now this knife is pretty heavy, but let's at least go see what it looks like right over here on the close up camera. So right over here, got it. It actually slides in pretty well. You can definitely feel the weight of it in your pocket because it is a super large knife. Let's check the pull out real quick. So right here, actually slides out smooth, one flip. Just roll it and your trigger's right there. Let's try this one more time. Bam. You know, not too bad. The print on it isn't terrible. You know, especially if you put it in the back side of your pocket right here. But the concealed side of it, maybe with a little bit longer shirt, you don't have a whole lot sticking out of your pocket right up here. But there is a, you know, I don't know, quarter inch or so. Let's try this live time. So bam, do what I gotta do, cut, single hand close, bam, right back in your pocket. So guys, right here on this pocket clip, as you can see, it didn't seem to be too beefy, but this thing is good to go. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a heavy knife, without a doubt. I don't know. I don't know. I wish that it did sit a little bit higher, this pocket clip. But this is a piece of metal. Like, it's just... I don't know. I kind of like it. But it is super heavy for an EDC knife. But what I at least want to do, before I tell you wrong, could be an illusion. Let's go get the weight measurements of this knife. Now, this thing's going to be pretty heavy, but let's check it out. You know... That's actually surprising. I really thought it was going to be around eight ounces, as heavy as this feels. So the weight right here is not too bad. Let's go ahead. Let's get some measurements on it real quick. So right here, you got a blade length of three and a half inches. Total length of it is eight and a half inches. Wow. So let's see what we're looking at. Fully closed right here. Five inches. So rather large pocket knife, but the weight seems to be, you know, Right or row head, still on the heavier side for a larger knife like this, but not near as bad as I thought. Yeah, it's definitely a heavier knife. But what do you expect? All stainless steel. However, it does look cool. So, again, guys, I like, you know, the control you can get with it right here. With those jimpings on the thumb ramp. I mean... That's a really good, the grip on it is fine, no problems. That liner lock seems to be sticking out a little bit too much for me, so it's digging into my hand, which also is a bad thing if you're cutting down. Let's just say that your thumb pulls up, or your pointer finger pulls up like that, so it's locked, right? Now, if I'm going and I've got it gripped, see that? Bloop, bloop, but anyway, just be careful of that if you're doing strenuous work with it. However, guys, it might be worth checking out. It's not much, I think it was like seven, eight bucks. Super heavy knife though. However, if you wanna check it out, I'll leave a link in the description below. Appreciate you watching, guys. Be sure to check out our product probe show. We do every single Thursday at 5.30. Have a chance to win this knife and other knives like it. But again, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you're subscribed and I'll see y'all in the next one. Thank you.